guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to bring you along for canning sweet potatoes and we're going to do them with a little bit of a twist. Um, it's not just done in water. Um, and for anyone that has never done sweet potatoes but they have done real potatoes, um, these are done differently than normal potatoes. So do not make that mistake. Um, but the first thing you want to do with your sweet potatoes, I have... I have over 10 pounds. I I know that much, but I'm not sure on the exact amount. It really doesn't matter um, unless you're wanting to do a certain amount of jars. But the first thing you want to do is wash your sweet potatoes and then throw them in a pot and boil them or you can steam them until they are soft enough that the skins just peel off. That's when you want to stop the cooking. Um, so don't pre-peel them throw them in and wait until they're soft enough for everything to tear off and then I'll bring you back okay so here are all the sweet potatoes minus three um, because they're gonna be for dinner um, so they went for about 15 minutes I think um, until I took a fork and I could see that it was gonna peel easily so then I went ahead and drained them and then um, peeled them so there's that, and then the special way that we are going to can these is we are going to do it in a brown sugar syrup. Um, so you can can sweet potatoes in water, you can do light syrup, um, but I'm going to switch it up and do a brown sugar syrup. So, for um, your syrup, I have... About a tablespoon of salt that's optional but I like to add salt anytime I'm doing something sweet um, and it's optional to put salt in your sweet potatoes anyway so I have a tablespoon of salt three cups of brown sugar and then one and a half cups of regular sugar and to this I'm going to add it ten and a half cups of water okay so once everything's in there you just want to stir until the sugar is dissolved bring it up to a boil and then drop it down in just a second and then drop it down to a simmer um and then just keep it at a low simmer you don't want anything to evaporate but you want to keep it at a low simmer so that it's nice and hot for when we're packing our jars okay so here is our brown sugar syrup it had come up to a boil and now i'm just letting it stay warm it's really all you need Hot jars, hot potatoes, hot liquid. All hot. Now, for the sweet potatoes, you want it to an inch of headspace. So, all I did was fill all, I'm doing quarts, fill seven quart jars to an inch of headspace with the hot sweet potatoes. And now, all we're going to do is ladle our syrup right over top until we have an inch of headspace and then we're going to debubble and recheck headspace. It's very important especially with something like potatoes where there's a lot of places that air bubbles can hide that you debubble. So right here at this lip is your inch of headspace and then you want to go in with something non-metallic. They, um, they used to do these uh, little green uh, just plastic things but for whatever reason now it's like a spatula is all it is so I just use the spatula that I have and then you just go in and very gently just move everything around and debubble get it everywhere you can see the bubbles coming up but you don't want to mush and that's another thing when you're packing your jars it's okay to pack them down but don't overstuff. We're not mushing anything. Okay. So you can see where it changed. It was up here. Now it's down here. So then you just take a little bit to get it back up to that inch. And then that jar is done. So then move on to your next jar. Um, and then I'm just using regular uh, metal top lids today. So we're going to wipe the rim of our jar with some white vinegar. Check and make sure that there aren't any uh, nicks or cracks because that could cause your jar to lid to fail. And then um, they're going to go in the canner. 
Okay, so I wasn't originally going to show you, but I'm going to show you. Um, I just put white vinegar on a paper towel. And then, especially if you're doing something like this that has a sugar or salt, um, just make sure that that's all clean. Do that to all of them. We have an inch of headspace on all of them. We're going to do the lids and rings fingertip tight. And then for my altitude, these are going to go into a pressure canner. These cannot be water bath canned. Pressure canned, 10 pounds of pressure for an hour and a half for my altitude. Um, and for quartz. Okay. So quartz are an hour and a half at 10 pounds of pressure, but that is for my altitude. You need to make sure to check your own. So I will bring you back when these are out of the canner. All right, so it is the next morning. Um, because I did these last night. Uh, everything sealed, but I wanted to particularly bring you the ending to show you the headspace. Thank you, baby. Um, anytime I do potatoes, it doesn't matter if it's on the perfect pressure and I don't have to regulate it at all. I always have siphoning um but i wanted to tell you that this amount of siphoning is okay um as long as you have at least halfway of the jar filled up with liquid ball and uh national center food preservation they're sticky says that um that's okay if you have less than half stick it in your fridge and use it within um a week five days but this is going to be okay now some of these may discolor a little bit as they sit on your shelf since they are above the line but that doesn't mean they're bad okay i just want to point that out for any new canners out there that do potatoes or sweet potatoes if you have this happen these could discolor but they're still good um, and like I said, this is good. Um, and what else was I going to say? Oh, the reason I think it does this is just because the potatoes are soaking up because they're only par cooked. So where like meat, for instance, lets out liquid, um, a potato is going to soak in the liquid. But, and sorry if my kids are... A little too loud they are playing very well this morning but I wanted to show you the end product I'm super excited to have these on my shelf and since they are done in the brown sugar syrup oh these are gonna be so good um always make sure that you store without your rings and wash your jars I mean because That's why you need to wash your jars. Because that's going to get dust, hair, mold. You don't want that. Um, so make sure with whatever you're doing, you wash your jars and then store without rings. So they're getting super loud. So until next time, guys, thanks for watching.